Last night was our first attempt at deploying a fake GPS egg into a sea turtle nest. The tires were really high, but we were able to get one egg in a nest. It was raining so hard we couldn't film anything. It's time to rise and shine, get some coffee in, and go check the status of the nest. Oh, there morning. she is. Yeah. Good morning, princess. <laughs> coffee. Go for it. As we were driving down to the beach to see if the nest got poached, the heavy storm we were dealing with last night only continued. triangulating the nest. Trying to find the location of the egg that was deployed. Using three points that were measured out and recorded last night, we can find our nest by creating a triangle with the points. The nest is under the top point of that triangle. You got one? Yeah? Oh, it was there yesterday. The chances yeah. are it's still going to be there today. There's nothing to say it's been predated. Cool. So, okay. Let's try going that way, see what's going on. Alrighty, bye Helen. I feel like Brody right now. Come on, man. <laughs> Look at it, man. Look at it, Johnny. Look at it! Vaya con Dios. Vaya con Dios. Last night, uh, we were basically, we were showered out, we were washed out. Tonight, hopefully, if it resides a bit, you'll see us work up close and uh, personal with the eggs and with the turtles. Still got like another three miles of walking. You know, we're out here for the turtles. We're living a life bigger than ourselves. And I heard someone once say, learn to be comfortable in an uncomfortable situation. You'll get far in life and get through the tough times and all the obstacles um, in order to, to make things happen. So, big part of it. And uh, it makes it fun, it does, in a way. It's moments like these where you go home after after uh, these trips, and you go to take a shower, and you turn on the hot water, and it almost makes you cry. Camera gear in there, must keep safe. We good? Yeah, you want me to button you up? Oh yeah. This is the beach that we're going to be working on, and have been working on. This is the beach that we scout, patrol, and we also deploy the eggs in. Your camera, dude. Careful. Careful. Fuck. Careful. You good? I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till it goes down a bit. It looks like there's a set coming up. to see if there are any more sandy areas worth patrolling at night. We had also found a sea turtle last night that was flipped over on its back from the big storm waves rushing up the beach. We wanted to see if there are any more in the same situation that we could help. 
It didn't take long to realize that there was nothing but treacherous rocks and high waves ahead. We decided to head back, but we couldn't help but hang out for a bit and enjoy taking in the beautifully intense weather Mother Nature was pounding the shore with. There is just something about intense weather that makes you feel so alive. So this is a, an example of a turtle leg that got predated. They're really flexible, made with um, more protein and less calcium, so that when they fall down, they bounce, they don't just break. When they drop from like being laid, they drop you know, a foot, they can just bounce and not be uh, damaged. Versus like a chicken egg, if it fell, it could crack, you know, a lot more calcium and protein. Just wanna show you guys real quick, what we're looking at right here is uh, during the rainy season, uh, the rain comes through. It makes a makes a little moat through the through the beach, and uncovers eggs that have been buried in the sand. As you can see, uh, the Arribatas uh, produce a ton of sea turtle eggs. Look at them all. See, these are all sea turtle eggs that have been um, you know uh, been put in the sand by the mother. And uh, but the way the water comes through and makes a channel and exposes the eggs, so they get predated on by all the vultures and stuff. And that's a natural process. So we're not. Uh, I gotta put them back in the sand or anything. It's not it's not our job to interfere with nature. We want to try to stop um, humans from fucking everything up. Excuse my language, but uh, so that's our goal. But this is natural, and uh, it's a circle of life. It's part of nature. So unfortunately, you know, a lot of these sea turtles gonna get eaten. But that's why sea turtles lay so many eggs. It gives their young uh, a chance, since so many of them have such a low survival rate. Uh, you can see, look at all the eggs along this entire wall. It's all nests. Pretty amazing. Helen is over to the right, 